First off, I want to state this video is not clickbait at all. I'm being very, very serious with you and I'm not being sarcastic at all. This is not a humorous video at all. This is a very, very serious video that I did not expect to be making today because I'd not foreseen this coming at all. But a lot of people that are subscribed to this YouTube channel are aware of my main channel that I've had for almost five years now, which is called Sun Fruit Dan, which is mainly focused upon health, healing, and detoxification. And this channel has around 1,300 videos. So I've made so many videos and just put so much time and energy into this channel. It, it, I've just dedicated my life to it and put my heart and soul into it. And it has almost 90,000 subscribers. And then I wake up this morning and boom, the channel is gone. YouTube has terminated it. Which when this happened, my initial response was like, oh, I've... Jesus, it like felt like someone had taken my life away. And that may seem weird to some people, but I have put so much time and energy into this. And it is one of my main sources of income. I also have other sources of income, so it's fine, but it's not just the money that I make through the adverts on that channel, but I also redirect it to my coaching website and to certain products that I recommend. So, if the channel doesn't get reinstated, I'm gonna be losing thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars a month. Which really sucks. But, yeah. So, I'm gonna explain a bit about the series of events that have happened. So, first off, I received this first email, which states, your Google account has been disabled. Um, the account um, it mentions my email address, sunfruitdown at gmail is now disabled. It looks like it's been used in a way that violated Google's policies, which, no, I haven't been using it in a way that violates Google's policies. We understand your account is important to you, so if you think this was a mistake, sign into the disabled, or sign into the disabled account and submit a request to restore it. You need to assume because the disabled accounts are eventually deleted along with your emails, contacts, photos, and other data stored with Google. So I logged in and the account the Google account at least, is re-enabled. Um, so that is good, because yeah, that's my main email address as well. So if the YouTube channel gets removed and then also my email account and everything else linked to it through Google and YouTube, then pff, I'm really, really royally screwed over with that. Then I also received this email pretty much at the same time. YouTube and Google are linked together by the way, if you don't know that. Uh, we'd like to reform you, inform you, that we've received a complaint regarding your YouTube account. So someone has specifically gone on my channel and wants to get it shut down for whatever reason they want to get it shut down for. And they've done their best to get it shut down, and they have. And Upon reviewing, we've determined that activity in your account violates our terms of service, which you can view them here. I'm very aware of the terms of service. There's specific guidelines that you need to follow. If you do not follow the guidelines, you will get into trouble with YouTube and you will get strikes on your account. And three strikes and you are out. And there's community strikes and copyright strikes. And yeah, once you reach three, your channel will get removed. And if you get one, each one, as soon as it gets put on your channel, it gets around, well, you have to wait three months to get that removed. So as long as you don't get three strikes in total, your channel doesn't get terminated. And you just have one or two strikes, and then after three months they go, then you go back down to no strikes whatsoever. So that's just some of the rules with it. And yeah, there's specific guidelines you need to follow because Certain things are not child friendly, advertiser friendly, YouTube friendly. I'm not gonna go into any detail of what type of content you can research up online. But all my videos have pretty much been advertiser friendly. And I have had some strikes in the past before, but I got them all removed. Had none in the account when this got removed, but yeah, it wasn't removed due to copyright or community strikes. 
and it says please be aware that you're prohibited from accessing possessing or creating any other YouTube accounts so if the YouTube channel does not get reinstated you're not going to see that type of content that's on that YouTube channel ever again on YouTube which is not good at all and for all, more information about Account termination, how our community guidelines are enforced, please visit our help centre. If you would like to appeal the suspension, please submit this form, which I have gone through the process of filling in that form and submitting it, which I did that not long ago. But yeah, not good. Um, yeah, like I said, the initial response is not a good feeling at all. Um, and what I actually want to do as well is go to the community guidelines which for some reason it's all come up in Thai because it's obviously detecting that I'm in Thailand um, so I can't actually read them out to you and I wasn't going to read them out fully to you but the issue could be that one of the guidelines is that you're not pro promoting anything that is harmful or dangerous which a lot of things that I talk about for healing are very controversial on my channel. A lot of people think they're dangerous and harmful to people. So that is more than likely the reason why someone put in the complaint because they believe certain things are promoted dangerous and harmful. And then YouTube has looked at it and the person would have more than likely linked to specific videos and the content they thought was violating the terms and conditions and that's why the channel got removed so yeah this is quite upsetting because I was getting so many views every single day it's not just about me earning money at all I never got into YouTube for earning money for the first two years I was making no money whatsoever it's just what I'm passionate about it's what I live for breathe for like it's The main thing that I put focus into um, and this is such a shame it's happened and it's not just affecting me the main issue that I have with this is yeah it's affecting my income but also at the same time it's stopping me fulfilling my mission and helping as many people as possible so much of my information in the videos that I've made have helped so many people heal from so many different health issues and symptoms so now people can't receive that content and I'm not spreading my message through YouTube, which is one of the biggest social media platforms in the world. So yeah, now I need to wait and see if they appeal this. And what I have learned from the research I've done up online, over the last three months, so many YouTubers have had their accounts terminated due to YouTube's algorithms. And what I mean is, bots will go around YouTube that have been created by YouTube, and they will search for certain things that violate in the terms, whether it's the content in the video, the thumbnail, the video description, the title, the tags, or something else, if they see certain things that violates it, the bot will automatically flag it, and then you'll either get some sort of strike or get your channel terminated. And when YouTube <laughs> terminate your channel, or a lot of time when they strike your channel, they give you very vague reasons as to why your channel got terminated and it seems absolutely ridiculous to me like be very specific and why not give a pre-warning about what is violating the term so then we could be given a time frame to actually change what is violating the terms rather than just being like okay that's it gone like that it's absolutely ridiculous i had it on facebook before on one of my groups I said it was violating certain terms and people had sent in a complaint. And they were vague, but I worked out what the reasons were. They gave me a pre-warning and said, if you don't sort this within this amount of time and change the things that are an issue, then we'll shut down your Facebook group forever. So I made the modification, submit the claim, and boom, it got reinstated. So, yeah, their process is a bit better than what YouTube does with you. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Where I'm at now, yeah, I had a strong reaction at first, but I'm doing as much as I can to get reinstated. I've watched so many different YouTube videos of other people that have had this happen and got their channels reinstated. I've contacted certain partnership networks that work alongside YouTube that can get channels reinstated. I know this from 
When I used to be with my girlfriend Sophie, she had this issue happen multiple times where it terminated her account, and then she worked with a partnership called BBTV, which is the number one net, well, partnership network that works with YouTubers, and multiple times they got her channel reinstated. Um, so doing that, I also found out about people saying post on Reddit and contact certain people that work alongside YouTube that can help, and also do this on well, I was going to say YouTube as well then, but Twitter. And you want to find people that, yeah, can help you with this. And the type of people that can help you with this that you can find through Twitter and also Reddit and other social media platforms are known as trusted YouTube flaggers. And yes, these people do work with YouTuber. Uh, well, not YouTuber, YouTube more specifically. And yeah, you can find people through the social media platforms that I've just mentioned that are YouTube trusted flaggers. And a lot of people got their channels reinstated by making tweet posts, well, sending out a tweet, or messaging these people directly on certain social media platforms and asking for the help, explaining what's gone on, and they can look into it and help you get your channel reinstated. So I'm doing as much research as I possibly can. I spent hours this morning, instead of feeling sorry for myself, I'm like, okay, what positive action can I do to make sure I can do everything within my power to actually try and get the channel reinstated? So yeah, I will keep you updated on what happens with this. But what I tell you is shortly after this happening, I've just gone into a state of complete acceptance. It's like, okay, the channel's down. It's possible that it could get him reinstated. I would prefer that happens. If it doesn't, then it doesn't happen. And when I thought that, straight away my mind just went into, okay, what you can do is just focus all of your time and energy on this YouTube channel. Because, yeah. I still have this YouTube channel, which I love, and I can make it way better than it already is. By just being able to focus on one channel, that's way more time and energy that I can focus upon it to give you even greater content and just post more regularly and just improve this channel in so many different ways. So I feel this sense of relief that I still have this channel to focus on. Not everything's been taken away from me, but there is one issue. From what you look into, what YouTube state is, if the channel does get permanently terminated, any of your other YouTube channels will get terminated as well. Which if that happens, that would majorly suck, hopefully it doesn't. If it does, it's like, no matter what happens in life, there's always an answer. I prefer it not to happen, but what we have to do is just go into a state of acceptance and be like, okay, I'm not gonna be a victim, Yes, I might feel intense emotions at the time with whatever's going on, but it's like, okay, it's not the end of the world. I'm still alive. I'm still able to create other things through other means. So it's like, if this goes in the worst direction possible, which I'm sure it won't, and I'm hoping that it won't, I do believe in things higher than myself that help me. Uh, maybe you do God, Buddha, the creator, the universe, whatever. Um, so I'm sure it will work out. But whatever way it works out, if the channels get completely terminated, it's meant to be. I'm meant to learn, grow, and evolve from this, and I will benefit from it greatly. It does mean that I'm gonna to have to put a lot more time and energy into other things. I may move over to a certain decentralized platforms such as DTube, which is one of the rivals for YouTube, and find other platforms that will not censor me, and it will not shut me down, or anything like that. So yeah, I'm gonna still keep making content for this channel. Um, any updates, I will let you know. Um, and I know there's a lot of people that are out there to get me. A lot of people do not like me spreading the information that I do. A lot of people do not see that I'm just trying to help people and I've helped so many people heal from so many different things. But that's just the world we live in. Certain people that agree with us, certain people that won't, certain people that are out to get us, some people that are working with us and for us and support us. Um, but yeah, I wish YouTube would make some improvements to help creators. Like I said, you could get a pre-warning. They could actually be more specific rather than vague of what 
you have violated um, and obviously if you abuse the system loads and loads and loads and you're not listening to what they want you to change then yeah damn right you should get your channel terminated and it's crazy there's so many channels I see out there that swear and curse and do content that oh, I don't understand how it's even on YouTube yet my channel my son for a damn one I don't swear there's no nudity um, I don't use songs that are copyrighted. It's all pretty much my own content. Yeah. But yeah, if anyone else has experience with this or any advice, find anything out that I don't know, let me know. Um, but yeah, I hope this helps any other YouTubers. If you're watching this, you had this happen, follow the advice that I've given you. And just be patient as well. But just do as much research as you can on this to resolve your channel being terminated if that's happened. But yeah, it's good that I'm the type of person where it's like I don't take the victim role. It's like every experience that happens in life is just a beneficial learning experience. And it can even make your break and you have the choice. And your mind either can be your best friend or your worst enemy. And it's like it's being able to transmute experiences, being the magician archetype, which is, yeah one of the archetypes that we all have within ourselves. Um, like I said, I'm still alive, still healthy, still happy. Um, not everything's gone completely. Still able to breathe, still able to walk. Um, yeah. And it's funny, it's like, I have this sense of relief because also it's like, oh, Wait a minute, I only have one channel to focus on now. Because it's a lot of work managing two YouTube channels. Uh, I do enjoy it, but... When we just have more things to focus upon, it is taking, what, more of our time is being taken. But say you can only focus upon one thing, you will become so great at that thing. So the less things we have to focus upon in life and the more we get to focus on the most important things in life that we want to flourish so well. Just like Olympic athletes. They're not focused upon those things, they're just focused upon training, that's pretty much it. Train, rest, recover, improve. Working out ways to optimize this sports performance and recovery time and just always improve so they can get better and better and better and better. So yeah, that's the way I just see it. It's like, yeah. This channel will become even better than it was before, as long as it doesn't get ended as well. Um, hopefully not. And I know this channel is way more um, advertiser friendly, YouTube friendly, and in alignment even more so with the terms and conditions of YouTube. Uh, yeah. Just feeling very calm in this like contemplation state. It's just like way worse things have happened to me in life. Like, my girlfriend years ago just got her life taken away in front of me when she's pregnant with my child. It's like, YouTube channel gone, it's care, I've worked on it for years, but it's like no one near as intense than that. And it's like every life challenge is set, for, set up for us to test our, our character. Um, so yeah, it's like bring it on. Give me whatever you've got in life. I will always be able to deal with it. It will never break me, it will always make me, it will always improve me inside and out in every single way. So as long as I'm still able to walk and live and breathe, yeah, I can always just benefit from what's going on for me and change certain things in ways that I need to. It's like, life goes on. And I'm never gonna let anything destroy me. And continue from pursuing what I love to do and spread my message in whatever way that I need to. So yeah, YouTube, thanks for this experience. I've had a few challenges being sent my way, um, which most people would just freak out from, which some of them I have initially for a very short while, not completely freaked out, but I had an emotional response because I'm an emotional human being. I have emotions, I'm human. That's absolutely natural. Um, but all of them, 
I've gained so many different insights in certain things that I needed to become aware of and have certain self-reflective moments. So it's all good. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on with the rest of my day. Get this video edited, which you're watching now. Um, got some other videos coming up soon. Two more actually that already uh, created. Still need to edit them, but they will be done soon. Um, yeah, that's it. Any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. Please share this video with anyone else you think would love to hear about why my YouTube channel is for Dan got terminated. And if you don't already, click the subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. I'm just talking about me and my life and what's going on and sharing things just about me that certain people want to know about. Videos on calisthenics, what I eat and do in a day videos, motivational, inspirational videos, weight loss videos, intermittent fast videos, and all these other different videos to inspire you and motivate you to push yourself to become a better version of yourself inside and out. And also, yeah, I hope that my videos teach you the information that I know is very effective to give people the results to gain and maintain the body that they desire, the fitness levels, the energy, and the health as well. Like I have managed to, and many other people that have followed my information consistently over time to get those results and way more. So this is the type of video sound good to you. Make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. And I have new ones coming every single day, at least from this point forward, which I normally do videos almost every single day, but there's been some inconsistency here and there. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.